Welcome into the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Jay Felicio here with three players you need to be looking to add off of the waiver wire going into week five. First up is rookie wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers, George Pickens. Now he was extremely hyped coming into the season. And you know what? He started off somewhat slow, but the signs are all there. That there's definitely potential for the still to have the rookie breakout season. George Pickens is coming off the best game of the season. Six catches, eight targets, 103 receiving yards. But what I really like is that his target share has increased every single week. 8% in week one, 9% in week two. A pretty drastic jump in week three to 22%. And then this week, mwah, Chef's Kiss, 32% target share for week four. Now, I don't expect that large of a target share for him every game, but you have to be excited that it continues to increase every game so far this season. And honestly, one of the best things for the outlook for George Pickens is Mitchell Trubisky was benched in week four. While this ha the job hasn't been given to Kenny Pickett officially, even if somehow Trubisky winds up the starter under center for week five, it's only a matter of time before Pickett's handed the starting quarterback position for the Steelers for the rest of the season. If Pickens is available, he's somebody that I'm willing to spend a huge chunk of my fab at high waiver priority. Pickett targeted him in 33% of his routes. I honestly believe George Pickens has league-winning upside. Up next is Raheem Mostert, running back for the Miami Dolphins. Now, a lot of people may have forgotten about him because he played all the way back at the Thursday night game for Week 4. If he's still out there floating on your waiver wire, he's somebody you definitely need to be looking to pick up. Week 4, Mostert outsnapped Edmonds 46-16, to ran almost three times as many routes, and, you know, Chase Edmonds was a hot name in the, this offseason, but it's Mostert who leads in most of the important categories. Rushing yards, rushing attempts, red zone attempts, and snap percentage. Their target share is virtually the same. Chase Edmonds has a little bit bigger, 8% to 6.6% .6 for Raheem Mostert. But over the last three games, Raheem Mostert actually has more targets. With Tua Tungabailoa going down with a concussion, it's likely that the Dolphins are going to lean on the run a little more while Teddy Bridgewater is under center. Uh, Mostert seems to have emerged as the top option out of the backfield for Mike McDaniel's offense, and that's something to get excited about. Last but not least is another rookie, but this time it's a running back for the Washington Commanders, Brian Robinson. Now, going into week one, it was reported that Brian Robinson had secured the running back one spot for this team, but there was an unfortunate is incident that caused him to miss the first four games of the season. It's placed on IR. Reports he could be activated as early as this week, if not this week, relatively soon. You know what? Week one, it looked like Antonio Gibson was ready to take advantage of his opportunity and show that he had not completely fallen out of favor in Washington. But honestly, he didn't get much done on the ground. Week one, he had usage in the passing game, and that's where those stats came from. Uh, since then, there's not been much production out of the Washington backfield. They've not had a single running back rush for over 60 yards in a single game this season. Gibson's averaging 3.3 yards per attempt. That's actually worse than pass down, passing down specialist J.D. McKissick, who's averaging 3.8. Uh, this does have the makings of a potential committee backfield, but I don't think that's necessarily something to be afraid of. I don't expect Brian Robinson to come in and to be a bell cow, but I would not be surprised to see him take most of the first and second down carries with J.D. McKissick being the passing down specialist. The uh, third down, a lot of the third down carries are going to go to J.D. McKissick, but I also expect Robinson to get the red zone touches and the short yardage touches, which is, you know, are going to be a lot of high value target, excuse me, high value carries. Um, he's somebody that I think is worth a stash. He could easily be a running back three, a flex starter. And then if somehow he does get the majority of the carries, Gibson goes down with an injury or he just simply outperforms them and they, they give him more of this backfield. There's a lot of upside for Brian Robinson.